everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be looking at this Sabco floor cleaner. I have seen this advertised everywhere and I've seen it on TikToks, I've seen it on YouTube and I haven't tried one so I thought, you know what, let's give it a, a go. Um, you guys can see this is what I usually use and I swear by this mop, it just, it really does have a lot more that I can do with it. So the reason I purchased this one is sometimes when I go into a client's house, I like to be able to do multiple things. For instance, like washing their walls from time to time, you don't have to use a mop only on the floor. I do currently use the one I have on walls, but I'd like to see how effective this one is. I thought we could unbox this together and see what is inside. So this one is called the Rinse Wiring Gen 2 Microfiber Mop Set. It does have refills that you can purchase once you are finished with the ones you have. They do get a little bit bad after a while. It has a two year warranty, and that is nice for me because as a person who has a business, I can then go and claim, claim back or get a new one if something goes wrong. This is the first time I'm opening this box with you guys, so let's see what's inside. First of all, we have our little mopping section. Um, let me open that up. Let me grab a scissor. Maybe that I'm doing this in the kitchen. So. Okay, that's what it looks like. So at the back is like a, a rough material, which I assume is so that it can stick to the, the bottom of the actual stick. And then you've got your instructions on how to use it. Very handy to have if you're not sure what you're doing. And let's pull this contraption out. Okay, so this is the Sabco one. I think there are a few different types that you can purchase. This is the one that I saw at Bunnings the other day. Inside here is another packet with all your, your pole extensions. There must be a way that this clips off. This is called not planning a video before you decide to do it. So let's see what the instructions say. So it says to remove the bucket top, remove handle by placing it in the position shown in A. Gently pull outwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this side here. And we're going to remove this side here. So we've now removed it. Place hands on front and back of bucket and push until top pops up. On front and back and push. So this will be classed as front and back. You need to push on these sides and then this will pop up. I must tell you it's not so easy. I've actually had to put it down, maybe I'm just weak, and I've pushed on it while it was down and the one side popped up. And I've pushed on the other side and it seems to have released. So technically you should just be able to push it like this and it will pop out. But there we go, it has now popped out. And inside you have the other part of the mop. This is basically just an extra one for now and while you're washing this one I suppose you can use that one. Anyways, let's put this thing together. So you are going to take these out. Okay, I assume that would be the top. So these would just fit into each other. On this one you've got a little push button over there. You will push that button in, push it down and it will clip in. There we go. Now you know that it's on properly. Then you will take your other poles. So basically they have a bit of a screw over there. So this pushed in and screwed to tighten. You'll feel when it can't go anymore, you know it's tight enough. Then the next one, screw that on. Okay, tight enough. And then your handle itself will go on and also just screw on. So this section here is for the washing and this section here is for the drying. If you look carefully, over there it says dry and over there it says wash. Okay, so we are going to now put this back on. Once you've taken this off and you're not sure which way it should go back on, you know where your handles were? So you will just link up those little round pieces with that. 
you'll stick it back in, push it down tightly, and you're ready to go. I don't think it needs to be off in order to put your water in. You can just put the water in through the top over here. The wash side will be the water and the other side will be the dry so you won't put water into that one. And we are ready to go. We just need to pop our handles back on. So we'll just stick those in there and over there. And by the looks of things, this is what holds the top part of your bucket in place. So when you put your handle back on, if you look on the bucket itself over here, you can see there's like a little line over there. If you look at your handle, it's also got a little bit of a weird shape. So when you're putting it back in, you will make sure that you put it sideways in on both sides. And when you lift it up, it will then be in place. So now that the handle is on, we are ready to go and we can actually test the mop out. Um, some things to know, it is a hands-free system. It's got the dry chamber for perfect moisture control. It does come with two refills, which is nice. Um, it shows you everything that comes in the box on the side, so you can see what there is. I don't know what the other ones come with. I'm sure they're pretty much all the same. But yeah, that's really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to trying this out. So I'm going to fill up with water on the wash side. I'm going to just use some dishwash liquid, which I'm going to just pour into that side. Not too much. I'm using this limited edition Tropical Crush. I love this fragrance. If you guys know me, you know I love anything that's got a good fragrance. I have a two-year-old in the house and I've got two smaller kids. So you guys can see there's some scuff marks over here from riding on scooters in the house, which I don't know why we allow. And yeah, there's just a lot of, you can see over here, I'm sorry, the sun is in a terrible, there's a little bit of, I think this could be chocolate. But yes, this wall definitely needs a good wash. So first thing we're going to do is dip it into the water section. So you'll see that this actually folds up. I think it goes in that way. So we'll push it in. It's in the water. Pull it out. And now we're going to dip it in. Let me turn it around this way. Probably could have filled it more you can see it hasn't really <laughs> wet the whole thing but now we're gonna do that and squeeze the water off and pull it back out again and now it is ready to go I'm just going to start from the top and just gradually come down this feels quite easy to use. I have noticed some marks coming off quite easily. There are still some marks there, but if you go over a few times, I'm sure it will be better. What's nice is I can hold it at an angle like this. So if you have a space where you've got a wall behind you, and you can't really use it with it like that, you can at least stand sideways and go this way. And then the marks are coming off great way of peening walls. So this is going to help me a lot in my business. Um, I did buy this one for home. I don't like to have one for home and use the same one for my business. I, like, I prefer to have a separate one. I cannot tell you it actually looks like I've just painted my wall. I have to admit, this is a game changer for me. I really do like this. Um, my mop works really well. I'm not going to knock my usual mop. I definitely love using it. So I'll probably have to work with this one a little bit and see how it goes. But I'm very impressed with the wall side. If it's just going to help me with the walls already, that is for me a bonus. Um, let's test it out on the floors. I'd like it to go against the wall that side, and you can see as I'm doing it, it's just moving a little bit. That might irritate me, but to solve that problem, I can always just do that before I do the floors. I can go against the sides all the way and just do that to start with. 
And then from there, I can just do the middle. This is a day or two after I videoed the unboxing of this Sabco floor cleaner. I just wanted to come back to show you guys that it's not really the best cleaner. I have got a, a spot here on the floor that I'm trying to get clean. And literally, I'm going over it as my budging. If I try to put my foot on to put pressure on, it's very slippery because this whole section goes into the water. So as I'm pushing on it, I'm actually sliding, which is not very safe. So I would say that this cleaner, after now trying it out, is not really the best heavy-duty cleaner. If you've got some light cleaning that you want to do, maybe that would be best. Or if you're going to pre-treat your floor with something so that it comes off a lot easier when you do mop. I would say this is definitely a cleaner if you're just going to do some cleaning on a floor that's not really that dirty. Maybe just smears like this. That it will remove. But if your floor is really dirty, I'm definitely going to have to recommend using a better one. So unlike the other mop, this mop I can do quite a few different things with. I can use it to wash the walls if I wanted to. It does work quite nicely. As you can see, I would just put it up against the wall and go up and down the same as I would with the other. It is a lot heavier, so it does make cleaning walls a lot more difficult. The other thing I like about this one, which the other one doesn't do, I can set my mop up against the wall. And because of the little bottom brushes, it does tend to clean the skirtings a lot nicer. If there is something on the floor like that that doesn't come up when I vacuum, I can tip it to the side and just give it a bit of a scrape. Just to loosen it up and then I can mop it which will then remove that item. So that's the other thing I like about this, which I cannot do with the other one. So I hope that you enjoyed opening this up with me and trying it out. So the price of this is actually, was actually on special at Bunnings for 55. Hey everyone, me from the future, just popping in to give you a bit of an update. I have decided that I am not very happy with this item. Yes, it does work very nicely on the walls, but I don't think it does a very great job on floors. So I found that it wasn't removing some of the marks on my floors, and I would have to then put a lot of pressure on, which I can't do with this because it's very slippery on top, having said that it goes fully into the water. If you're a household and have a lot of animals and kids that mess a lot and you don't always get to do the stains right away, I would suggest do not purchase this item. If you're a couple who has a very clean house or you clean up right after your, your messes, it will definitely help to have one of these. Well guys, not everyone is going to agree with what I say on a product. This is my personal opinion. You may find it to be a very nice item to have in your home. Well guys, I'm going to sign out here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one.